No, I'm not. A veteran of the 82nd Airborne came with a speech but left in handcuffs during Kershaw's County Council meeting on Tuesday. If you were doing what you were supposed to be doing, I wouldn't be here. Do what's right, not what's expedient. Nine people had signed up to speak their minds on the current state of Kershaw County. Please note that the more you interrupt me, the longer this will take. And the eighth person in line was Mark Root of Camden, a former paratrooper whose latest grievance was county council limiting everyone's five-minute speech to less than three and a half minutes. Get in, buddy. Jimmy Jones of District 4 was the only county council member who agreed to speak on what happened. He said, I'm not going to follow your rules. You're not going to tell me what I can say. You're not going to tell me when I have to stop. This is a public building. It was just a lot of ranting going on. What does your God say about stealing from the less fortunate? Root spoke for less than four and a half minutes before county council muted his microphone and ordered his departure. We're into a recess, and I asked Mr. Root to be moved. Tuesday night was very interesting. Um, for, for a number of years now, we've been uh, subjected to censorship by the council. Jeff Maddox of Lugoff pulled out his GoPro as Sheriff Lee Bone and Deputy Barry Nelson approached Root on his refusal to leave the podium. And that's when the sheriff and the deputy put their hands on his arm and he automatically dropped to the floor. Okay. Remark did not resist. Mr. Root did not resist at all but was drug out of the, the chamber and then handcuffed. Sir, you are under arrest for saying words that you don't like. The disabled veteran was slapped with resisting arrest and disorderly conduct for his participation in Tuesday's meeting. And as a condition of his bond release, Root is prohibited from attending county council meetings while his legal charges are pending. This is censorship. This is government force against the people. So now Mark has no voice in the county council for the next two or three years, and he's got to spend the money on attorneys. According to Root, he's already exploring legal action against the county council and county administrator for violating his First Amendment right to free speech. But Council Member Jones says Tuesday's incident had nothing to do with Root's content, but the rules he disobeyed. He got more time to speak than anybody else, and that was my issue. And that was a violation of the rules, and we got rules. And if they stop having rules in there, then it's time for me to go.